Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. When Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman, Margot Robbie, and Connie Britton are all in a movie together, you race to the theater. Especially when it's a topical true story like Bombshell. It's now in theaters and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. The women at Fox News had their own story to tell. Their story was about their boss, Roger Ailes, played by John Lithgow, and the history of sexual misconduct under him and fellow anchors at Fox. As Megyn Kelly, played by Charlize Theron, battles presidential candidate Donald Trump about his rhetoric toward women, Gretchen Carlson, played by Nicole Kidman, sues Roger Ailes for sexual misconduct. Now, this doesn't stop Ailes from his behavior, as news reporter Kayla, played by Margot Robbie, who works on Bill O'Reilly's show, becomes his latest victim. It also stars Kate McKinnon, Allison Janney, Malcolm McDowell, and Mark Duplass. Bombshell is directed by Jay Roach, whose other films Game Change and Recount have also been based on true political and newsworthy stories. This film is kind of the first in the Me Too era to directly address sexual allegations in high-powered places. And I would hope that this film showcases how difficult it is for victims to step forward given the risks that it takes on their lives and career. Carlson is given a warning that no one wins by suing Fox News. The script is missing a proper focus. Megyn Kelly is really the center of the movie, yet Carlson was the one to pull the trigger and start the downfall of Ailes. Gretchen Carlson is then basically treated as a supporting character in the movie with less screen time than she really deserves. I like having the Kayla character as well, but the film should have told all three stories with equal measure. There are almost too many characters in this movie. I wonder if screenwriter Charles Randolph felt the need to include every Fox News personality and others, like Trump and Giuliani, just to drive the point home even further, even if they aren't really necessary to this specific story. Now, this movie doesn't absolve Megyn Kelly of her more disgraceful comments. Charlize Theron gives an incredible performance, and um, as playing her is a very conflicting person. I didn't always agree with Kelly, uh, Kelly's choices and how she handled everything, but Theron makes her a very flawed yet intriguing person. She nails the voice and the physicalities of Megyn Kelly without resorting to caricature. John Lithgow is ultra slimy as Roger Ailes. He may be buried under heavy makeup, but his performance captures just how gross and vulgar he was as a human and as a boss. Uh, Margot Robbie and Nicole Kidman also give admirable performances. Bombshell is a rich and complex story, but the movie almost feels a little too rushed and resolves it all under two hours. It's the rare time where I wish the movie was longer to tell this story appropriately and accurately to give context to the depth of what happened and how the Fox House of Cards came crashing down. I'm giving Bombshell three out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have new reviews of movies like Cats and Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews, as well as all award season coverage. Thank you so much for watching my review of Bombshell. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.